Hey guys, welcome to Retro Crisis. In today's video, I'm going to share with you Hari's 1080p shader presets for RetroArch, created by Hari82. Now this preset is specifically designed for TV screens that have a resolution of 1080p. So anything more or less than 1080p may not be suitable, but based on one of my recent polls, it appears that 1080p is still pretty much the most popular display resolution going. Anyway, to install Hari's 1080p presets, you need to go to his homepage, which I've linked in the description below. And then once you're there, click on the blue download my presets here button, and that will take you to his GitHub page. And then on the right hand side, go to releases, and then go to the latest release. And in the assets section below, you'll see Hari 1080p zip file. So click it, download it and extract it. And then once you've extracted it, you should see this folder here called Hari and open it and within there you'll see a number of folders which divide up all of Hari's presets. So let's go back, right click on the folder, go to copy and now go to your RetroArch folder. And then once you're in your RetroArch folder go to the shaders folder and then go to shaders underscore slang. For those of you that don't see this folder, not to worry, just create a new folder and call it shaders underscore slang and I'll tell you how to take care of the rest in a bit. So open it and then right click in a space and then paste. And then that should add Hari's folder into shaders underscore slang. So that's the installation process complete. Now all we need to do is open up RetroArch and do a little bit of configuration. Great, so now you've got RetroArch open, there are a few bits of configuration we need to do. So firstly, go to settings and then video, go to output and then video. And here we can change the video driver. Personally, I like to use Vulkan, so that's what I'll be selecting and then go back and then go down to scaling and then go to integer scale and make sure that is switched on. This just ensures that the image is pixel perfect and prevents any image distortion. One of the side effects is the image may look a little bit smaller on your screen, but hopefully that shouldn't bother most people. But if that does bother you, then go down to integer scale overscale and then just turn that on. Personally, I prefer not to use it, so I just leave it off. Now you need to shut down RetroArch and reopen it. And once you've done that, go to online updater and then go all the way down to update slang shaders and press enter on it and it should begin downloading. And now all you need to do is press enter for the latest pack to begin downloading. You'll notice a status bar in the bottom left corner and just wait for that to hit 100% and when it's completed, you should see a green tick. And then now that's completed, you should open up a game of your choice. When you do open up the game, press F1 to go to the quick menu and then go all the way down to shaders. And then go to load preset, go to shaders underscore slang, and then go down to hurry. Now here you'll see all of Hari's presets divided up nicely into different folders. So for example, if we go to one standard, you'll notice all of the related presets in there. Now with folders one, two, and three, those can be used with the vast majority of retro games. However, there are two folders I'd like to draw your attention to. So with the Tate folder, which is number four, if you open that, these presets are good for arcade games that use vertical screen orientation. So games like Donkey Kong, Raiden, and various other shooters. So these presets will adapt their scan lines and all that kind of stuff for vertical games. And if you go back and if you go to number five, upscaled internal resolution, these are very useful for games that run at a slightly higher image resolution. So for example, Tekken 3 on the PlayStation. So despite the fact that most PS1 games run at about approximately 240p, there are a few that actually run at 480i. So those games that run at a higher resolution will benefit from these presets. But just make sure within the core you're using to ensure that the internal image resolution has been upscaled by at least 2x at the bare minimum. Anyway, here's a quick showcase of what you can expect with Hari's 1080p shader presets. <laughs> <laughs> 